Hey guys, today is Saturday and it is my birthday. Just um, want to do up a little quick video of something that I got. I did get a few mother, few more things. Um, namely, something in advance was that it was a uh, HD TV. Already got that like a about a month ago. Uh, I also got a pre-ordered game uh, receipt, so I'll be getting The Force Unleashed in about a week or so. Anyways, got this from a friend. It's really cool. I have the 2005 version of Clone Wars Obi-Wan, and I will be comparing him in the video review for this figure. And there's a very cool picture of Obi-Wan on the side. With his javelin, or lance, whatever you want to call it. I now have all the parts but the chest and the leg to this green little droid. Stop it on the back, whenever you want. So there, I got the better version, in my opinion, of all the... Uh, Clone Wars Obi-Wan figures. Uh, I do believe this is a re-release, but uh, no big deal. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys later and in the full review, I guess. Hey guys, doing another review for Star Wars Day. Um, this figure um, is a little awkward. Um, I'm going to show you this in a minute, uh, what, I'm, what I'm talking about. Other than, other than this one awkward thing, this figure is really good. Uh, and he definitely, for the most part, beats uh, this figure. Um, the only thing this figure look, uh, that beats sort of this one is his head is sort of in proportion with the rest of his body. Whereas here, it looks almost like, uh, like a, I don't know, like a child. I don't know, like a like a child in a in a Star Wars suit. I mean, the head is just is just the helmet is just so big. Um, but as you can see on here, it's just it's smaller. It looks more more. It looks like more of a grown up. Put it that way. Um, that's the only real problem with this figure, in my opinion, is the is the awkward head. Um, the legs are kind of awkward too. Um, they they're ball jointed and they're ball jointed at an angle so it's it's really awkward but if you can just tweak around with his poses you can get a pretty good pose out of him kinda like how I have now um, but this figure has really weird articulation um, he has swivel uh, elbows, swivel hands ball jointed shoulders but um they really, when he's in this mode, he really limits his articulation, so he's not very good. Um, and his legs really don't move at all, except for the the the, uh, the feet. They have balls on his feet. Uh, one of the legs you can't move at all because of the gimmick, um, which is this. And some of the armor's falling off. I'm going to take him off the stand. But he does... He's supposed to swing, but he can't really do it in this mode. He kind of swings his, swings his sword. It's, it's really a crappy figure. Um, that said, he does look cool standing there. That's about it, though. Um, the armor can be taken off. Um, but he looks so goofy without the armor that I'm not even going to bother with it. There's the face sculpt. In my opinion, it looks better than the face sculpt for this figure. And you can actually switch the heads. Um, but for some reason it looks awkward with this head on there. I don't know why. I think it may be the neck. Uh, the neck joints are, are different. Like one of them's longer, one of them's shorter, or something like that. Anyways, this one is still an okay figure. And I would still recommend having him in your collection just to have him. Uh, but this one's definitely the better figure as far as articulation goes. And actually... If you wanted to, you could technically stick this helmet 
on this figure. However, there's a little bit of a problem with the hair sticking out, so it looks too small. But it, the problem is fixed when you put that head on head sculpt on there, which I'm not going to do because it's going to take up too much time, and I don't want these videos to be that long. As for articulation, he does have a ball jointed head, but it, it's you know it's such a tight fit that you can't really do much with it except for swivel. Um, he does have soft goods cape and. Uh, bottom portion of his tunic, um, swivel hands, ball jointed shoulders and elbows, um, a swivel waist I do believe, yeah swivel waist, um, like I said ball jointed hips, ball jointed knees and ball jointed feet, so he has a lot of good articulation, it's just the legs are really awkward, you have to kind of just mess around with them to get a, a good look at them. Okay, so this guy right here came with this white javelin, and it's, it's such a soft pl rubber plastic that uh, it just warps no matter what you try to do with it. Um, it's not fixable. I've tried to fix it several times. It just doesn't fix. It warps back into place. Um, so it's a crappy, crappy one, but I do like it a lot better as far as look goes. I like the white. Uh, this is the one that this, this figure came with, and... As far as design goes, it's a lot better because it's a harder plastic. It doesn't warp as easy, um, and it actually detaches at the handle, which is pretty cool. Uh, so this is definitely the better figure of the two, and I'd easily give him a an 8.5 or a 9. Uh, if you're an Obi Wan fan, he's definitely a 9. If you're if you're not so prone to Obi Wan as to other characters, he's probably an 8.5, but he's definitely worth picking up. Uh, so that's my review. And uh, keep watching the reviews for the day.